I want to get your reaction to what we just heard Senator Graham say. If you're young African-American, uh, you can go anywhere in this state. You just need to be conservative, not liberal. Well, Lawrence, it's ridiculous. Lindsey Graham has been in Washington, D.C. for 25 years, and he represents a state where all, almost a third of the folks that live here are folks of color, uh, most of them African-American. And so you would think that a senator would try to bring all of his or her uh, constituents together and not separate them. But that's not the first time we've heard these type of divisive uh, divisive things from Lindsey Graham. And it's what we expect at this point in time. And it's the reason why it's time for him to come home. Uh, how big is the undecided uh, at this point in South Carolina? How many how many people are available for persuasion? I think it's about five percent of the electorate, Lawrence. Uh, you know, you you talked about the New York Times poll that just came out. Uh, there was another poll that came out as well that showed us uh, within one and then on one plus one. And so this is a turnout election. This election will be determined by which side can get their voters to the polls. And I'm very, very heartened by what I saw today when I went to vote with my sons and my, my wife. Um, I'm heartened by what we're doing. But, you know, at the same time, Lawrence, Mitch McConnell is also very observant of what's going on here. We have just learned that now the, the past two and a half weeks, three weeks, Mitch McConnell and Lindsey Graham Super PAC have put $20 million into this race. So whatever advantage we had now has disappeared. And that's why we're telling folks, we got to run through this tape. Continue to go to jamieharrison.com and support our efforts. Lindsey knows that he is in trouble. But we need to make sure that we can permanently send him home, and we'll do that on November 3rd. We just heard Latasha Brown say that at this stage of the campaign, radio is very effective in uh, connecting to black voters in particular uh, at this turnout uh, point in the in the campaign. Uh, are, you, are you confident that you and the Democratic Party in South Carolina have all the resources you need to communicate with the voters you need to communicate to to get them to the polls? We still need to uh, continue to push, Lawrence. We, we poured uh, millions of dollars into radio to get our message out into digital TV. But what the latest projections are that Lindsey Graham and the Super PACs will outspend us by $6 million in the last three weeks, uh, uh, or last two weeks of this campaign. And so that we got to continue to push. We cannot let up. We got to keep going forward. But that's where we are. And I'm sure many John Ossoff and uh, Reverend Warnock and Mike Espy and so many of us in the South, we got to continue to get the resources to pull these victories out and we can do it. And what about uh, Republican attempts to discourage voting in South Carolina? What, do, what are you doing in the face of that? Well, I uh, the state party, uh, along with the, the DSCC and uh, so many other entities and, and our campaign have built a robust voter protection problem, uh, pro, uh, a voter protection program, because we know the tricks that that take place, particularly in the South around elections. But we we are we are encouraged. We know that we're going to do everything to make sure that every voter in South Carolina who's eligible to vote gets the opportunity to do so, so they can feel free to go to the polls. And if they have any problems, just give us a call and we'll make sure that we have dispatch attorneys to help take care of it. What is your closing argument to voters who think they've already heard everything there is to say about this race in South Carolina? Well, Lawrence, it, it, it's the, you know, the contrast is very clear. Lindsey Graham is trying to scare people to vote for him. I'm trying to inspire people to support me. I'm talking about hope and rebuilding and revitalizing communities across the state of South Carolina. Lindsey Graham is trying to scare people. Uh, he's uh, you know, talking about chaos and riots and those type of things. It's sad when somebody's been in Washington, D.C. for 25 years and they can't run on their record. They, they can't talk about the things that they've been able to achieve and do. That's because, you know, I, I know why he's now opposed to a senator in D.C., because he is a senator from D.C. He has forgotten the people of South Carolina and he only cares about the political games in Washington. 